This is the Daniel Smith Sketcher set of six. This is actually a travel set of watercolor, six pans with nine empty pans around it, which will allow you, as you increase your watercolor arsenal, uh, a place in your travel set to add more color. But these six colors have been selected, I'm guessing, for specifically Sketchers, urban Sketchers, taking your colors on the road with you. So let's take a look at these. All right, now <clears throat> there's a, a note that comes with all of these sets. So the manufacturing process of how they set these watercolors in, because this watercolor is actually the same as the tube watercolor and then allowed to dry in three stages, you'll probably see here, because the paperwork that's included usually has a, a breakdown, a breakdown of how they do their filling. And this is part of that manufacturing process that makes them unique and how they lay their colors down. And if you decide to use your own tube watercolors to fill it, you can do something similar. You've got a little included color chart here. Hansa yellow medium, quinacridone rose, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue. This is Monte Amiata uh, and transparent red oxide. Whenever there's a color that you might not be familiar with, if you know traditional color names, always check for the pigment number. So that is pigment brown, seven PBR seven so let's take a look at the pans themselves <laughs> I was confused for a second yeah no this is this is legit we're, uh, we're 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 really showing this this is not you know being cut up to look all nice and shiny and pasty so one of the things that you'll notice with these watercolors is that they have a little tack to them and that's probably why they re-wet so nicely and easily I can also see how, you know, this is not, this might be what I would expect in a, a mass made watercolor pan where it kind of looks uniform and fits in there perfectly. And each pigment has its own drying time and the way it kind of settles, but we've been assured through, uh, through the company that they've all passed their very strict standards. So let's just swatch these six colors. This is their Sketcher set and see how they look. I'm a really big fan of this set in particular, uh, this Sketcher set. I like, first of all, not taking more than I need with me, which is sometimes a struggle. Sometimes I keep telling myself I have what I need and then I find myself adding another eraser or another pen. These six colors will get the job done, but I like that the palette still has these empties in it so that as I 
go, I can add colors. The fact that there's only six colors in the set also means that this is going to be a little bit less expensive, uh, or in some cases considerably less expensive, than some of the sets that are full. Um, and that also allows me to hand select the colors that I might need. So if I was going to say uh, a particularly foresty area, I might want to add uh, a specific green to this set. Uh, I like that it has flexibility in it that I can add to it, and it doesn't have more colors than I need to at least get started, especially if I'm just getting started and don't want overwhelming mixing options. So with this kit, I always like to show at the end of these videos just how little you need to travel to do art. Uh, I've got a Reflections Aqua Journal here, really nice cold pressed paper inside, lies flat, has the pocket in the back for whatever uh, items you might pick up along the way. Especially because this is a sketcher set, Urban Sketchers, I have these super black fine liners. This is actually a lettering and calligraphy set, but I really enjoy using chisels and brushes uh, so that I can alter my line weight easier on the fly. And then we're actually going to make two different versions of this set. One is going to include the Aqua Stroke Go, which is a water brush, and just look how nice and minimal that is. Take that with you anywhere. You, can, you know, empty this out and bring it on a plane. And I'm also going to do one other set, which is going to, instead of including this Aqua Stroke Go, it's going to include the Mimic Kalinsky Travel Brush Set. Now this set is gorgeous. Now this is a extremely high-end synthetic Kalinsky Sable, okay? So what does extremely high-end mean? Well, this is a synthetic brush that is made with each hair individually having different thicknesses to mimic that of natural hair. This is a brush that has been painstakingly put together and made into a gorgeous travel brush. So you have this nice uh, leatherette case. You've got sizes from 4 all the way to 12. And um, you can see here that you can just take them out and just like that, they fit nicely, they feel good in your hand, they feel well balanced, and uh, you can kind of compare that to, this is a, a size 8, this is a, this brush is brand new, this one's uh, been used, but uh, the size 8 of the regular Mimic Kalinsky, you can see just how similar in quality they've been made. So go ahead and you can click the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen if you're interested in buying these kits that we've put together or we'll put links to the description below so this is the daniel smith sketcher set of six colors really nice vibrant colors that should give you a lot of mixing options and room to grow hope you've enjoyed